Well, hey there, YouTube. It's time once again. Everybody's favorite time mailbag. Mailbag. What's in the mailbag? Oh, what a day. What a day. The cat woke me up at 6 a.m. Oh, here he is. Hey, Kika. You want, want a new treat? Would you like that? <laughs> uh, I have been getting up more like 5 p.m. for a while now. And I got up at 6 today. We took two window unit air conditioners out of the windows, which they're they're installed with two pieces of three quarter inch ply with four lag bolts. Like there's like a fan system with a sliding trap door on, on the one in my room. It's like it's kind of complicated. There's insulation. So then we uh, remove the housing and then kind of clean it a little bit, throw it in the trunk of the Toyota, take it over to the spray them up power wash, put three dollars worth of quarters in there and then quickly try to spray all the funk out of the air, air conditioning uh, radiator fan and the base of the unit and then wash the car too. <laughs> you go quick enough you can do it all for three bucks. So uh, it's 430. I also completely wired up the um, pedal board, my wife's pedal board. Now there was a short I had used this goofy metal 2.1 mil DC female jack on the phase shifter and that it didn't like it. It caused the short. I blew like five fuses trying to figure out what it was. I couldn't find these battery packs. I was trying to use an isolated battery pack and just see what was going on and I couldn't find those so I was kind of frustrated. But yeah, eventually I looked at it and I'm like that jack mother f that jack like i don't like that so i pulled it out of there put a plastic one that doesn't ground to the chassis and then that that solved it so yeah i did have a trouble when they say troubleshooting i had some trouble today i blew like four or five fuses <laughs> i'm a high roller like that with fuses i just keep loading them up lighting them up let the sparks fly why use a multimeter to do a test when you can actually just blow up a fuse? So yeah, um, today was a red letter day. Um, I still have to, like, we went to all these. They didn't have the crinkle cut fries. I got a side of ribs, so we're gonna cut that ribs up and put a dry rub on it. Should probably be doing that like now. Because we're going to uh, probably in about three hours put those ribs on the grill. I like to do them for about three hours. I'd like to try parboiling them. I'd like to try that. But I don't think we'll do that today. But like I'm saying, uh, I am beat. I just had a wrap. Not like... <laughs> not like that type of wrapping, but a... Uh, it's lunch meat rolled up in a tortilla. I had a wrap and some corn chips and I had a Mountain Dew Baja Blast. So I'm just flying high again. Hey Kika, would you like any treat? And now it's time for meal bag. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of beat up here. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling shitty. But we have mailbag, mailbag, what's in the mailbag today for Petey. This is from eBay Goods. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping I, to receive. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I made someone a shank and sent them, I mailed it to them, I mailed them a shank along with a copy of a Deadbolt song called Prison Shank. So it's a, it's a package with a CD, a compact disc with this song, Prison Shank, and there's instructions. So you get this package and it says, put the CD in and play it, then open the, the other package, which contains the shank. So you will be listening to this Deadbolt song, Prison Shank, when you receive your shank. 
These are uh, speed bits. My speed bits came in. Super, super cool. Super cool. Looks like this is the smallest one. Uh, which really, can I just order the smallest one? Are these three smallest ones? Oh, there's, yeah, there's there's a good amount of little, little guys. Yeah, these are, these are great. And if you, th there's some kind of coating on these that needs to be, um, I'd like to get a little Crown Royal pouch or something to keep these in though. But these are great, these are great. If you do uh, Vero work, a uh, strip board, and you have to do your cuts, you could use those. That was the shank that I made, was a, was a handle, was a Phillips screwdriver that had this little handle. And I heated that, the Phillips screwdriver part up uh, with a lighter and then stuck it in a vise and pulled the handle off. And then I stuck a, a drill bit that's the right size to do Vero cuts. And I also put some automotive epoxy around that. So that was the shank that I gave away to my buddy. He was, he was doing some Vero's, uh, 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 like I think he said he did 18. And he said that he had a blister on his finger from doing the drill bit manually. So I sent him a prison shank. <clears throat> he actually should have been receiving that today. So I'll be hopefully hear back from him. What have we here? Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. These are very expensive. One, two, three, four, five, six. But they're all in here. These are high performance saddles for the guitar. These are uh, graphite saddles. You do not want to know how much those cost. And we've got something here. Looks like it's been opened. Um, <laughs> oh, it's poking through. That is not good. Not good. I know what this is. And it's poking through. Is it damaged? Oh, come on, guys. Are you kidding me? This is how you ship this to me? Is it damaged? Wow, I cannot believe that is unscathed. It is not damaged. This is a this is a pick guard that does not have the holes cut in it. This is a um, aged pearl. Is the color. So I don't know if you can see that, that it's, yeah, you can. So uh, I have to see if this is going, is this going to fit on the instrument? And it also comes with this template, which you, um, is going to help me somehow in doing the holes and then the back plate. So that this is going to be going on the, the Kozart. The Cozart, the semi hollow body Stratocaster that one of my YouTube friends, one of my e pals, surprised me and bought me a guitar when I was on the phone with him. Uh, the same guy that I sent the prison shank to. Uh, I was on the phone with him, and he's talking about these guitars. He's buying guitars left and right, and then he's like, what about you? What do you like? And he's like, you probably want something light. Take a look at this. And I'm looking at these two guitars. One is like a Sunburst, and I wasn't really hot on that one. The other one was like a Burl, and normally I don't like Burl finish, but this was, this was sexy. And I said, oh, I like that. And uh, he said, give me your address. <laughs> and and he, bought, he bought it for me. So yeah, um, 
mailbag mailbag what's in the mailbag it's going to be uh, a lot of guitar parts coming in we're going to be doing a lot of these episodes and then when the stuff all when it all finally arrives Petey's going to uh, switch from mailbag into fret shop Petey's uh, guitar modification station so look forward to that hey maybe I'll use my fancy new these have to be cleaned I will probably just go right for the throw them in the sink with some dish soap I like using Ajax a lot I like that powdered cleanser with bleach that stuff will clean anything all right you guys thank you for joining me for another episode of mailbag um, I'm gonna be waiting to hear from my friend if he uh, did does he just go ahead and tear into the package or does he read the rules and play along um, I'm be I'm betting that he won't I'm betting that he'll just go and open it up and uh, either throw a CD in the garbage or or not listen to it at all that's just from past experience but hey, uh, you know, not everybody has a pre-MTV attention span. Some of us have post-MTV attention spans, and they're un unable to uh, focus very well, follow instructions, or uh, give two shits about other people's uh, sending them links and stuff such as that goes. So you got to watch it. You got got to be respectful. You don't want to be uh, an annoyance or a pest. But at the same time, turn of the screw. Um, that's how I communicate through sending links, and it really isn't that big of a deal. If you're if you're making if you're doing 18 Veros, I think you've got time to watch a YouTube video. All right, you guys, take care of yourselves. If you do have a pet that's big enough for you to pick it up and physically show it some type of affection, hug your pets from PD. That's what I'm asking you to do. I'm not saying you got to buy me a, uh, send me five thousand uh, dollars out of your personal account. Uh, just hug your pets, and if you have a, a cat and you do not have some Temptations brand treats, you need to rectify that. Get out to your Megalomart or wherever you buy your cat supplies pick up a bag i would suggest the party box the super triple mega size of the rock and lobster brand or flavor i should say backyard barbecue is good but the rock and lobster they they'll they'll go nuts they'll do backflips for that shit and i like the i, I like the uh the rock and roll motif i like i like the cat is is playing I think he's playing his leg. His leg is becoming some sort of a stringed instrument. I have to double check on that. Take care of yourselves. Try to stay cool. That's what we're doing with this air conditioning project. It's never ending. As you can tell, I'm stalling. I do not want to get up. Oh, talk about sore. I'm really glad to have that pedal board uh, where it's at. As it is now, when the last pedal comes, which should be soon, uh, that pedal will come in I will mount it and be done now there's a, a whammy bar eight bushings for the whammy bar and six whammy uh, whammy bar tips that are missing they said they were delivered and I never got them so that's hopefully I'm gonna end up getting a refund on that I'm sure I will it's just frustrating when your packages don't arrive so who knows? Anyway, you guys, take care of yourselves. And for real this time, peace.